before I start, if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another review. Got another one of the deluxe boxes. This one comes to me from goodiestoys.com.au. Um, where is it? Just .com. The thing, the thing is .au. Anyway, it's in the description down below. Check it out. Um, yeah, he handed this one over to me just because the way it arrived from his shipping company. It was uh, not his company, but the company he uses for shipping. Um, yeah, they really didn't give two craps. So this is one that he couldn't sell. Um, you know, he's a stickler for quality and, you know, it's appreciated by everyone that buys from him. So yeah, he, he just gave me the, he gave me this one to, to do a review of the figures, knowing that I'm an opener and we'll throw the cardboard in the bin. So let's do exactly that and uh we'll get cracking so yeah big thanks again mate i uh, appreciate you appreciate you thinking of me um with all the destruction that i do with my action figures <laughs> all right so we've got a couple of little trays here we'll start with this little paper bag so this is all the flame parts so yeah, the the incinerator trooper itself is the is a repack from the single carded one. It does come with this flame effect again, which is cool. It was a really cool effect. You do have this slightly larger sort of big flame effect, and that's for Grogu to sort of use the force and shield that fire back. So that actually looks really nice. And you know, you could definitely use that as like a backdrop. Don't necessarily have to use it like that, like for toy photos or stuff. So we've got another couple of small little flame pieces here, which looks good. You just sort of spot them around. And they come up pretty nice. I think they look good. Well done on those ones, Hasbro. They're, they're quite nice. So we'll sit them there and we'll have a look in this other bag. This one is taped shut. All right, so first one out is Grogu and he's lost an arm, but that's okay, it will pop straight back in. I'll zoom in on this bad boy. So there he is. Again, Hasbro's gone with a, with a new head sculpt for for Grogu again, they did say every release of Grogu in the Vintage Collection would be slightly different to the last. I think there's been a couple of instances where they're the same or similar. Um, but yeah, he's got his eyes closed. He's shielding the uh, fire, which is which is cool. So I like that. That's a nice, nice little touch, having that little Grogu. He's still so damn cute. Still... Still blows me away how they achieved to do this guy in a uh, three and three quarter inch because he's just so tiny. But uh, all kudos to them for being able to pull it off. So yeah, now we'll look at the Stormtrooper. Again, like I said, this is uh, a repack of the Incinerator Trooper from the single release, still. Amazing figure, love this one. This would be uh, really nice to get a couple of these guys together. I feel like the red might be a little bit more on the more on the maroon side. It's not as bright red as the original. That could just be my eyes. But even looking at the box, if I just bring that in quickly, so uh, maybe it's just my eyes. I'm not sure if this is red. I don't have the other one on hand to compare, so. I will make an effort to do that myself and just have a quick look at those uh, slight color color differences. But uh, either way, it's still a cool figure. I love the Stormtrooper sculpt that they've used. Um, yeah, it's really good. I'm very tempted to get that Stormtrooper Commander with the blue. Be silly if I didn't. <laughs> but yeah, I do dig this one a lot. Um, yeah, definitely one of the greatest releases from last year, in my opinion, I think. This was this Stormtrooper itself, and, you know, the mould they've used for the Stormtrooper is just brilliant. 
Um, but yeah, here we got the plug-in part. Again, they sort of softer little bits at the end, the sort of igniters that will peg in and they just sort of lock in there just to, doesn't really give it any support. It's just nice, nicely molded in there. And that looks great. And yeah, you just had to stretch the hand out a little bit. Takes a little bit of tinkering just because the uh, the hose on it's a little bit all over the place. Um, but yeah, you can get him to sort of hold that in his hands. You can. I, I've done it. <laughs> just say that, but... Yeah, he looks okay like that. It looks fine. I'll pose him up a little bit more. Um, have a little play around. But yeah, the, the tanker on the back looks good. But yeah, really, really loving the flame effects. I think they look really, really good. Very nicely done. Interesting to sort of put some different lights behind it and sort of see how they illuminate. Again, a couple of more little flame effects. And little Grogu. So you can sort of see how he sizes in comparison. Stupid meanie stormtrooper wanted to burn the little cute guy. How rude is that? But he stopped it. He didn't make it happen. So there we go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Like, you know, for the most part, like I said, very much uh, repacky uh, wave uh, figure again. But it's not a bad one. It's a good one to repack. And the Grogu, of course, nice little bonus. All the flames, awesome. So let me know what you think. Please send out in the comments down below. That would be awesome. And uh, yeah, we'll chat with you soon and we'll see you again on another video. Until then, may the force be with you and me as I continue to try and make this guy stand up. All right, guys, bye. <laughs>